In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a Compound Linear Inequality Interval Notation. We're given two inequalities here. 2x minus 3 is greater than negative 11, and 3x minus 1 is less than 14. The compound inequality says OR, so that will be important once we actually start to compound these two inequalities. For now, though, I want to simplify each of these two, starting with the one on the left. 2x minus 3 is greater than negative 11. To get the x by itself on the left-hand side, I could first add the 3 to both sides, canceling on the left anytime I add to an inequality. The direction of the inequality stays the same. I now have 2x is greater than negative 8. And then to solve for x, I would divide both sides by 2. Since I am dividing by a positive, again, the direction of the inequality stays the same. We only change that direction if we divide or multiply by a negative. And since I divided by a positive, that's not needed. So x is now isolated on the left. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. So we have simplified this first inequality, moving to the second inequality. Again, isolating the x, I would want to add 1 to both sides. Adding doesn't affect the inequality. 3x is less than 15. Isolating the x, I would need to divide by 3. And since I'm dividing by a positive, the direction of the inequality again stays the same. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So I have simplified the second inequality, and this is where the OR statement becomes important. I want to show with interval notation where either of these two inequalities exist. If it were an AND statement, I would need to show where they overlap, and it's usually helpful to compare both of these on a number line. The inequality on the left says x is greater than negative 4. So this would be everything, not including negative 4, but everything bigger than negative 4. The inequality on the right says that x is less than 5. So not equal to 5, but everything smaller than 5. And this is where, had this been an AND statement, I would be looking for where they overlap between negative 4 and 5. But since it is an OR statement, then OR would be everywhere that either of these two exist. And since the green one goes everywhere to the left, the red one everywhere to the right, our solution in interval notation is going to be everywhere, all real numbers. In interval notation, this would be negative infinity to positive infinity. 